America was um, creating the model for the future world, which would be maximum diversity, maximum creativity, having a shared vision. For me, that shared vision always has been a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier, and joyful planet. I think we got to see our parents struggle, work hard, and then find success and the American dream. America used to be the place that all of our cousins wanted to come and go to school. No one wants to come here anymore. I thought my children and my grandchildren would create a new story for the world because this was the only country that was open to immigrants from all over the world. I mean, I think when you look at the past three and a half years and some of the fundamental institutions that have started to crumble, that we've poked holes in, that we've created so much doubt around, I think it, we're on very fragile and precarious ground right now. Microaggressions have turned into macroaggressions. They're, like There's just blatant racism and hatred. And I think it's because we see someone um, sitting at the Oval Office who possesses that hatred for people who don't look like him. In the last three and a half years, we've seen fear-mongering and also uh, greed and cronyism and influence peddling and corruption and bureaucracy. Almost a total disregard for civil discourse or a civil society. And I think this is a time to all serve um, for the greater good. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope that the next generation can look to the leadership in this country and see dignity and respect and tolerance and um, creativity and be inspired by that. I think Kamala Harris represents that uh, catalyst for change. And then seeing her on the DNC's stage and, and in debates, it was so very empowering. My mom, sister, and I were like crying <laughs> at the kitchen table. The resilience and what she represents for the future for all of our children and the generations to come is incredibly inspiring. After the last three and a half years to see a woman of color, of mixed race, who's, who's been a civil rights activist her whole life, who came from civil rights, it's amazing. And so I think in watching her accept the nomination, there was a, a glimpse of like what America once was and what it could be and a restoration of what's important and, and the values that this country aspires to, doesn't always reach. I think that aunties and uncles should get out there and vote because if they believe in the excellence of Indians and South Asians, it's so very important. Donald Trump threatens that excellence. He threatens our existence here and um, he believes that we're taking away his jobs and threatening America's greatness. My plea to all my fellow South Asians is you have been very privileged because you got the spoils of your education, of your culture, your vision, your hard work, and your discipline. And you deserve every reward. But don't deprive your fellow South Asians of the same opportunities. And you will deprive them if you work only for money. Drag people to the polls with you. Get your children, get your children's friends, get your own you know, friends and family out. Every vote matters, particularly in places where we know there are huge Indian and South Asian communities in Pennsylvania, in Michigan, in Houston, in New Jersey. Go out and vote for your grandkids and your kids and your great-grandchildren because we're all at risk. There's so many things that are putting us at risk right now, whether it's climate change, whether it's gun control, whether it's health care. Our vote matters more in this election than it ever has. We have an opportunity to swing the election. So you're voting for so much more than yourself and your pockets. You're voting for the generations of Indians and of kids of color and of just children to come. Voting is the simplest, easiest way to get out and serve. It's our responsibility now that we come from integrity, authenticity, a higher calling, and make a difference. The dream for all of us should be opportunities for all children in this country to realize that American dream that we all believed in once. And it's just we have to turn the tide, otherwise there won't be an American dream moving forward. My dear fellow South Asians, 
please go and vote. Please vote for your values and what you truly believe in. Go out and vote. Vote Biden-Harris. Vote for dignity and respect and restoring what America represents to the world. Vote Biden-Harris. Please vote for our future on November 3rd by voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris.